What's up, gamers? We are about five days into the latest content update for Disney Dreamlight Valley, which welcomed Mulan and Mushu to the game. We've got an amazing new star path, daily quests with Remy, and a really fun Inside Out 2 limited time event. We're going to go over all of the major changes in today's video. But first, if you're new here, hello! My name is Jamie, and I make lots of Dreamlight Valley videos here on my channel, so I would love for you to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss an update. I think it's pretty safe to say that the content of this update is one of the best. Mulan and Mushu are such great characters. Their realm is beautiful and fun to explore. The clothing and items that come with these characters are absolutely gorgeous. And I love that the star path Majesty and Magnolias carry that same theme as well. But let's talk about some of the less obvious changes and features that have arrived in this update. The good and the bad. Alright, first let's take a look at some of the new foliage that we got with this update. We actually got six new tree types. So originally I just noticed the magnolia trees because they are gorgeous. They're so pretty. I love these so, so much. You can see I've already started decorating my plaza with these. We actually got three more. It's the same tree, but with green leaves instead of the pink ones. And I think these are actually really nice. And then over here in the underbrush category, way down at the bottom, we got some new reeds. Let's take these over here to this pond and I'll show them to you. So this is just kind of like a darker green uh, from the one that we already have. They also named these really weird. They're probably going to change these uh, names. And then we have this one that has this like stem coming out of it. And then just that stem part as well. So there you have it. That is the new foliage. So we also got a couple of new fence types in this update. The wrought iron fence, we will talk about this a little bit more in a bit, but let's take a look at this pale wood fence. I actually haven't even bought it yet. It only requires softwood and hardwood, and I think that's great. I think we need some more simple fences that don't take a lot of hard to find materials. Let's just make like this much of it for now. All right, let's take a look at this new fence. Oh, wow. I actually like that a lot. Okay. Oh, wait. Let's back one. All right. So it looks like these, like, joint pieces are a little bit shorter than the rest of the fence. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like maybe I would like it better if it was just straight across. Or if they were just all different, different sizes. Well, they kind of are, actually. Now that I'm looking at it from, like, this. And actually, while we're in furniture mode, let's take a look at some of the changes to building and decorating. One of the big changes here is this replace button that they've added. So we can actually replace whole fences and paths with this. So if we click on this, it's showing me the fences that I could replace this with. So white picket fence. Now we have a white picket fence here. I think that's really great. And we can do the same thing with the paths. Of course, I am not even going to do that because I don't want to mess it up. But yeah, I think this is a really useful feature. So there's another new feature with decorating with multiple items. So if you have something like this where I have, I have more than one set of these books, when I place it down, it'll automatically grab the next one. So I could place multiple of these without having to jump back to the menu, which I think is really, really helpful when you're placing a lot of the same thing. And if you want to put, say, two and you're done, you just hit the remove button and it'll take you back to the menu. One of the best parts of Mulan's friendship quests is that she brings a new stall to the valley. This really cute tea ingredients stand... Right now, you can purchase these tea leaves for zero star coins. I'm not really sure why. That's most likely a bug that they plan on fixing eventually. Uh, you can get a few of each type per day. So I suggest doing that every day while they're free. But here, let's grab all of our tea types today. And of course, with new ingredients comes new recipes. So we have some new tea recipes. We have jasmine tea, 
Uh, peppermint tea. Oh, here's a recipe I haven't figured out yet. Sesame balls. I think these are probably new for this update too. Oh, and here's the other tea. This is the oolong tea. I think that's how you say that. Okay, and I'm just looking in the crafting area to see if there are new any new craftable items. Uh, I do think that there are a few like this wooden training dummy that will become available as I go through uh, Mulan and Mushu's quests. And then I also found this modular dragon so you have the body the head and the tail i haven't i don't have that available just yet but i am excited to make this because it looks really neat i'm also just now noticing this mailbox have we always been able to craft a mailbox is this new am i just not remembering this or what we do have one new crafting material. It's called wrought iron and you get this by completing daily quests with Remy. All right. So Remy now has a new delivery business and we help him out every day by completing orders and delivering them around town. And then we get some wrought iron. Unfortunately, he's only giving like one wrought iron a day. And I really hope that they change that because it takes quite a bit to make his new craftable items. Whoa, here's another thing that's been happening. Um, things are taking longer to load. Like I have, I have stuff here. There it is. <laughs> uh, isn't that odd? That's been happening a lot to me after this update. Uh, it's taking a longer time for things to load in. But anyway, you need quite a bit of wrought iron to make things. And so far you can see I have one chair um, <laughs> and I have these things that I made for the ground, which I fully regret. I'm not a big fan of these. But let's take a look at the new wrought iron items that you can craft. Okay, we have this chair, one with arms and one without, and then the walkway slab, which I showed you guys. And then we have these two different types of tables. I really like this one. And then we have this statue, which takes 100 wrought iron. So yeah, it's gonna be quite a while. So you could make some of these um, pixel pouches. These uh, basically are like a wild card item and they fill in whatever building material you don't have. So you could use these in order to make all of the wrought iron items. But these also take quite a while to obtain. You have to play multiplayer um, and they spawn here and there uh, the longer that you play. So it does take a little bit of time. I, as you can see, I don't have enough to make any of these right now. But that is an option if you play uh, multiplayer often. All right, next up, let's talk about camera mode. There are a couple of new features here to talk about. One really fantastic change is with taking dream snap photos. If you're someone who loves making custom touch of magic tool items, but they always interfere with your dream snap submissions, you're going to love this new feature that allows you to make those items invisible when you take your dream snaps photo. You just click this toggle right here and it makes those items in the background invisible. So let's just grab one of these ugly things that I have made. <laughs> okay, so I put my touch of magic item in the background there. So let's take a picture. So we're gonna click on this button and it makes it invisible. And then you can take your dream snaps photo and it won't trigger the uh, touch of magic error. Now, one thing that will most definitely mess up your picture is having the Daisy Boutique in the background because this actually does not work for clothing items. So if you have Touch of Magic clothing items on, you will have to actually take those off. And if you have the Daisy Boutique in the background of your image, it will trigger it because you have uh, custom items in the windows. I had a really hard time this past week with this challenge because it kept triggering the touch of magic error and I just could not figure out why. I was down on the beach and then I realized that my Daisy Boutique was directly behind me. Even though it was two biomes over and you couldn't see it, it was still triggering that touch of magic error and i really thought that they had fixed that so that things that are in other biomes won't affect your image but that could be a new issue um, that we're having now that they've implemented this new feature so we also got a new camera pose but this actually requires the purchase of the premium item figaro 
Oh, look at Figaro. Oh my gosh. If you bought Figaro as a companion, he comes with a new camera pose that is just absolutely adorable. You can actually take a few different types of pictures depending on where you capture it during the animation. This has got to be one of my absolute favorites. There are a couple of other changes that are kind of small, but ones that I thought were worth mentioning. One of them is actually around the time rift balls, whatever those things are called. Um, of course, now that I'm trying to show this to you guys, they all have disappeared from my valley. So <laughs> I don't know where they are or if anyone else has had this happen, but basically um, those obnoxious floating balls that just have appeared all around the valley if you have the eternity isle expansion they are smaller in size until you equipped your hourglass and then they go back to their full size honestly i feel like these should just be invisible unless you have the hourglass equipped there's no reason for you to be able to see them unless you're actively time bending, but I am thankful at least for the reduction in size because i find these to be super annoying of course, even more annoying now that I can't find any uh, to show you. So the second small change that I wanted to mention is this new animation for Belle. Of course, she's in Remy's restaurant right now, so I can't show you. Uh, but I'll try to find a picture of it or something to pop it up onto the screen. But when characters are hanging out around water, they usually start fishing. And now Belle has a new animation where she sits down on the ground next to the water and props her fishing rod next to her while she reads. And it's really cute. I'm not sure if she didn't have a fishing animation before or if they just changed it to this. Either way, I like it a lot. And before we move on to the not so great things about this update, I wanted to talk about the new Inside Out 2 event that's happening right now. We've got about two weeks left of this event, I believe. And I contemplated making a separate video on this, but I know a bunch of other creators have already done that. So I don't know if you guys want to see it from me as well. But this event is to promote the new movie Inside Out 2, and it involves searching for special items in Goofy, Mickey, and Merlin's houses. The Dream Castle, Scrooge's Shop, and the first three realms, Moana, Ratatouille, and Wally's Realm. You'll collect the items which drop orbs, and sometimes you'll get memory pieces, and a lot of the time you'll get coins, but that's okay. Because you'll need to collect these not just to complete three new memories from inside out, but you'll also need to collect 200 of them in order to get the final Dreamlight duty. So over here in the collections tab, we can see all of the new Dreamlight duties for this event. So we have feeling accomplished, feeling joyful, feeling expansive, and feeling nostalgic. So you'll collect the orbs and you'll complete three memories. Once you get all three, you'll get the feeling accomplished reward. And this will give you the four new companions. This memorabilia one, you have to get to 200 to get a statue, which I will show an image of on the screen. I have not seen Inside Out or Inside Out 2. I know I'm so sorry, but from what I understand, this is a video game character that appears in the movie. So we get this really cool statue of this character, which looks really neat. So we saw the sporting equipment items that you find in the houses. And then over here in the castle and in Scrooge's shop, you'll find these trophies. And then in these three realms that I mentioned, you'll find these little birthday cakes. All right, and I'll give you a little close up of each of these companions. So that was the Ennui Raven. This is the Embarrassment Turtle. Here is the Envy Rabbit, which has such pretty colors. I really like this one. And last but not least, we have the Anxiety Squirrel. Someone said that this squirrel looks like the one from Over the Hedge, and now I can't unsee that. Who else really loved that movie? All right, now let's talk about some of the bugs and just things that people are unhappy with in this update. Every time we get a major update like this, there's always a bunch of bugs and glitches and just things that are really annoying to deal with. I'm hoping they give us a hot fix instead of making us wait for the next update. I think they will this time just because none of these are really major issues, but they are quite annoying. So first up is Scrooge's shop. 
Now, while he did get a new stock of some items involving Mulan, we did not get any new clothing and or accessories. I really thought that we would get some new stuff with this update, but I was super disappointed to find half of my shop is still, in fact, empty. And that's not the worst of it, you guys, for poor Scrooge. He's also not allowing anyone to purchase multiples of premium items or Star Path rewards. So usually once you buy something from the premium shop or you earn it in the star path, you can head over to Scrooge and order more of those items for star coins. So you can see this one has a price down here, but when I try to order, it tells me that I'm not allowed. This has been recognized by the developers and they are working on a fix for it. So fear not, we will be able to buy premium items again soon. Now, even though Remy's daily quests are very cute and the new craftable items are gorgeous, there's another issue with the wrought iron. So a lot of people are accidentally turning their wrought iron into iron ingots because if you can see on this screen, you have your regular recipe for iron up here and then you have a second one right here and you can actually use wrought iron to create iron ingots. I guess they did this, um in case you've crafted all of the wrought iron things that you want to. I don't really think that that's necessary. They could just give us more things to craft with the wrought iron in the future. So having two recipes for one item is really confusing and I just think it's just unnecessary. When I first saw this, I thought that we would be able to make wrought iron with regular iron ingots and maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, cause that would make a lot more sense. I almost clicked on this because I thought that's what was going to happen. But thank God I took a second to actually really look at this. Um, because I could have very easily wasted my materials. And I think a lot of people are doing that. All right, moving on to another major issue in this update is Mulan's realm. A lot of people are having trouble in this realm because apparently if you pick up items that you find or you break rocks, dig up mud piles, any of that before you're told to do so in a quest, it can actually mess up that quest. I thought maybe just leaving the realm and coming back would fix it, but apparently not. So when I first came into this realm, I didn't touch anything before I started the quest. So I haven't run into this issue yet, but I did accidentally stomp out some of these little like piles in here. And I haven't been told to do that yet. So I'm afraid that I might have messed up one of Mushu's quests. If you haven't gone into this realm yet, just make sure that you don't touch anything until Mushu or Mulan tells you to do so. That way you don't get stuck in a quest and have to wait for a hot fix. All right, lastly, there are a couple of smaller issues that I've seen people talking about. One being a couple of the rides not working, specifically the Dumbo ride and the teacups. These are broken down right now. So for whatever reason, you cannot interact with them. You can't turn them on and off. You can't ride them, nothing. They're not even playing their music like they usually do. So these guys uh, are broken right now. And finally, there's a glitch with the up house where it makes a horrific sound every once in a while that's driving people crazy. I didn't get the up house, so I can't show that to you, but I have seen videos and it is pretty awful. <laughs> And that is everything, you guys. If you want more of a look at the star path and my initial reaction to the update, definitely check out the video that I'm linking for you here. I'm already pretty far into the star path and I'd love to showcase all of the items because we got quite a few of interactive ones that are really fun. Let me know in the comments what you love or don't love about this update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you again real soon. Bye.